Okay, I'd like to start the meeting for the Park and Rec Board uh, Recreation Committee for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. And the time is 7.02. Can we have a roll call? All right. So, Jay Batalico? Here. Roberta Byron Coolidge, she responded no, that she was unable to attend. William de Blasio. Here. Eileen Francolino. Eileen. Okay. Michael Karanian. Here. Okay. Anthony and Matthew Kalowski responded they were unable to attend. Um, Ed Marchand. Here. Okay. Nicole Payne. Present. Jennifer Wynn Johnson. Here. And Don Woods. Here. Okay, we got okay. four men. And then we have Tim Mankey as liaison. Tim Mankey's here? Yeah. Okay. Can we stand for the pledge, please? Pledge of Legion. We the flag of the United States of America, America and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under God, God individual, individual, liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of February 16th? Before that, are there any additions or subtractions? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as is. Second. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Approve the minutes. We got any public participation? Um, let's see. Nope. Nobody. I only, nope, no one. Okay. Bill, any correspondence you want to run by us here? I don't think so, but I, we do have some agenda items we wanted to add and um, subtract. Okay. And I, I believe Kelly has provided uh, us with a, if you guys go with the changes, we have the revised edition so that it'll make it easier for everybody. Okay. The first one I think is D, uh, insulation of lighting at, Legend Field. Yeah. As the agenda. The other one is Beacon Park imp Improvements, or was that taken out? Nope. It's moved. In, instead of a report, it's moved up to new business. Okay. And I'm not sure. I can't see it, but Heather, do you have that um, up on the screen? Yeah. So first you need to make a motion for that, and then um, that will be part of new business. Perfect. Yep. So we need a motion, Jay, for, to... Uh, I can have a motion for uh, new business for D and E. I'll make a motion to, uh, for, to add D and E to the uh, new business. Okay, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, it's on the agenda. Perfect. Uh, you want to give us uh, the monthly report, uh, I guess, on uh, February? <coughs> Bill, anything? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, we uh, provided the monthly report in writing. Uh, there's nothing um, unusual about it. I can tell you that it's uh, the office is really busier than heck and going after it pretty hard, both on the parks, recreation, and cemetery side. So, um, things are going pretty well, and I'll entertain any questions if you have any. But I think we're going to have a lot during the, the agenda today uh, that you'll will fill you in quite quite well. Okay, if no one has any questions, let's talk about the tree warden report. Okay, um, again, we continue to get daily daily complaints about trees, and we're working over on Crestview. Now this week, took took down a few dead trees. We're stumped three, uh, stumped some, and then um, filling them in with dirt and grass seed and etc. Um, we'll be over on Church Street 
and we've got some uh, out near the uh, Cashway Lumber area too. I can't remember the street name, but our guys are, when we get a chance, we don't have a dedicated tree crew, but when we get a chance, we get out there as best we can. Uh, the question I had, these are all on Tom property, uh, Bill? Yeah, anything that's 10 feet, roughly, you know, the, the, the standard is 10 feet from the road into the person's front yard okay. or, or from the street to a sidewalk if there's an existing sidewalk. Anyone have any questions on the report? Okay, let's move on to new business. The first one is um, Motorcycle Madness, letter of agreement. Yep, we have, we have four sponsors. I told you, I think, a month or two ago that we were working on the sponsors, and they all agreed in concept, but now we have the I, – I said I'd come back and, and give you the, the written document of letter of agreements. They're, they're no different than the last couple of years. We're thrilled to death under these kinds of conditions to have four loyal sponsors uh, come forward and support us uh, in, a, in a big way. So we're really thrilled to death about it. And things just keep getting better and better for the motorcycle madness. Any questions uh, by any members? If not, we have a motion. Would someone like to read the motion? I make a motion to accept the four motorcycle madness sponsorship letters of agreement as per. per Presented. Second. By a second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Like motion passes. Hey, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Bob Sarah from. He lives in Newington, resident, and he was the one that came to uh, came to me in 2015 and said, "Hey, why don't we do a motorcycle show?" <laughs> so um, it's grown and grown, and we're. We're thrilled to death that he did that. Well, that's great. That's great. Great. Bill, is this the fifth year? Would it be the? I think it's the fourth because we didn't do it last year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one is the extravaganza booth fee waiver. So the actual Newington team. Is this the um? this uh, sustainability committee? Yes. Okay, thank you. So this is just, this is me being proactive. I know that Patty Foley is involved heavily in, in the, um, this, this, this committee. And last year she requested a waiver. And at the same time, this last year, this month, so Kelly and I took it upon ourselves to, she didn't ask for it yet, but I suspect she will. So we put it on the agenda for your consideration. It's a town committee. Uh, Keith Chapman is, is in support of, support of it. I believe the town council is, and I want to speak for them, but I, I think they are. So I just thought that maybe we could be proactive and save her some time and effort. Any questions on that? If not, can someone read the motion, please? Okay, I'll read it. Go ahead, uh, motion to waive the booth rental fee for the sustainable Newington team for the life, the unit extravaganza in the amount of $50. Second. I second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Chairman Kelly. Are you able to get the motions and who's who they buy who they're by? Yes, I'm doing okay, okay so far. If I have any questions, I'll ask. Okay. Yeah, just yell yell it out if you can't recognize their voices. Okay, I had Don Woods as the first, and then I heard Jen Wynn Johnson as the second for that. Was that correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's tough on the Zoom because you got to go by voices here. Yeah. Hey, welcome to my yes. world. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mistake my voice for Billy's. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have some fun here. Okay, the next one is the uh, tennis letter of agreement. Okay, this, Mr. Chairman, is uh, an agreement that we sign uh, every year normally. Bob Dean is our tennis contractor. 
He's been doing a, a superb job over there at Mill Pond. And he keeps the courts busy and active. He collects the money, takes the reservations, does a lot of maintenance, daily maintenance. Um, we did, I did try to negotiate 5% more to get him to 25% like every other sports camp. But because he does so much maintenance and there's so many hours involved, he would only agree to 22% uh, more this year. So we'll get 22% of the gross and he gets 78. But I still believe when you do the math, it, it works out to uh, everybody's advantage. It's a win for the town and a win for Bob. Looks like so, uh, some lawyer wrote that up, huh? Yeah. That's, it's, that's uh, quite a letter of co contract. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a lawyer, but I play one on TV. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay, we also have a motion on that. Would, like, would someone like to read the motion? I'll read it. I make a motion to, to waiver the tennis letter of agreement with Bob Dean presented. Second. Well, any questions? So, Mr. Chairman, just so the commission knows, you're, you're going to, if this passes the motion, it, it gives the, then we would present it to the town manager for his consideration for signature. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Motion passes. Who was the second on that? I didn't catch it. Ed Martian. Okay, thank you. Okay. Installation of lighting at Legends Field. This ought to be a beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, so, Bill. Okay, so the good news is this. Um, as you know, for six years, we've been trying to, or probably, Probably longer, but my six years, I've tried very hard to fulfill the wishes of the commission in the Little League and Babe Ruth and American Legion and men's baseball and high school baseball. Well, we tried grants. We tried Major League Baseball. We tried everything. Um, so we went to the CIP program, Capital Improvement Program. And with Keith's blessing, um, what happened in this presented budget we have 235, it need, we need about 350,000. Actually, we need 355, but for round numbers. Um, so we have 235 presented in Keith's CIP budget going in front of the council. Um, and then the second year is another 125,000, which rounds it up to the 350. And I talked to the salesman today. If we can sign an agreement next April 1st or April 20th, They'll, they would start the work. I would pay them the 235 as it goes as the work goes on. And then if everything goes according to oil and we know the town council voted on the budget, usually the third week of April, we would know that the next year's budget would pass. And then the, the finance director could send the check for 125. Bing, bang, boom. We've got must go lights and baseball we are put on the map for baseball and it's really a, a great thing for newington so it would be not this april but next april would be the time frame if everything goes according to the plan hey bill yes if you take 235 and 125 it's 360 360 yeah so i'm i wanted a little bit of a contingency just in case don Okay. You know, when you dig 26 feet in the ground for those concrete posts, um, it, it, you're, it's always tricky. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't think we'll find any cars uh, like we did at Volunteer. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, now, we did for the poles. Yeah, if if by chance they they stay at 355 and we have an extra $5,000, there's good likelihood that I would put lights at the football field parking lot and around the parking lot at legends. It's very dark there for people to come out of each of the stadiums. So if we had any extra money, I would put up one light at a time to try to make it safer there. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you know, as far as that stall bill, bill, normally you can, you can go have one bank of lights run for 20 minutes. Yes. Which can, would save you putting parking, you know, in the parking lot. Well, now, Jay, we, we, it's going to be computerized. So on your phone, you can get into your car and then turn them off automatically when you're oh. done. And, but 
what, what I'm worried about is it, we get constant complaints about when you come out of Clem Lemire, um, the turf field. Yeah. When you, when you come out of there, even when a bank of lights is left on, it's pretty darn dark out in the parking lot. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. <sighs> Bill, you want to, uh, Billy De, uh, de Blasi, you want to read the, uh, Sure. So you're involved in all this little league stuff. You can, you can take the motion. How does that sound? Hey, I would love to see this come through. So uh, yep. I'm happy to approve the installation of baseball lights at Legends Field at this Clem Lemire Sports Complex. I'll second. Okay. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. This, is, mon- work, this is monumental. Right here is monumental. Oh, my God. We should Probably have a use the money now, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Any any questions on that on that uh, installation of lights? Okay. Let's go on to the Beacon Park improvements. Did everyone vote yes? And a vote, Jack. You, you got to vote for. Oh, it. I'm yeah. sorry. Yep. Losing my head. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Yep. Okay. Beacon, uh, Beacon Park improvements, uh, Bill. Okay, so in the line of trying to get a handicap accessible new playground at each of the neighborhood parks, as you know, I concentrated on Churchill Park, uh, Mill Pond Park first as a regional park or a, a major park. Then I went to Churchill, redid that. Then we went to Clem Lemire. Now it's time to show that we're concerned about the neighborhood parks. You know, we... We redid all the basketball courts at all the neighborhood parks and colored them New Newington High School colors. My proposal now to Keith, and he accepted it, was in the budget process to have one new playground put up. We were planning on Beechwood Park, but we changed our plans and we're hoping that this commission will consider putting the money towards, if it's approved by the council, at Beacon Park. And the reason being is we have money set aside in a plan with public works to redo all the pathways at Beacon Park because they're in disrepair terribly. The playground is illegal and and not safe. So we would put a new playground there with probably a a sand volleyball and possibly a um, bocce court. And we would do everything at Beacon this year and that would give us a whole brand new facelift and it would be beautiful paths a power washed basketball court, new playground, etc. So um, I'm hoping you'll consider this. We have that in the plans with the with the town manager, and as long as the town council approves the budget as Keith presented, um, we should be in pretty good shape. Bill, I have a question. Do we have any vandalism down there? You know, we have vandalism everywhere. I know, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not any worse at Beacon than it is anywhere else. Um, you know, it just, it happens and it happens just by, it's just random. It's totally random. Okay. Anyone you got any questions on this? Uh, well, uh, Bill. Hey, yeah, Bill, where would you st- store all the uh, accessories like bocce ball and the volleyball stuff and everything like that? I think they're at, I think they'd have to bring their own. It would be more uh, like um, Churchill Park. You know, the nets are up, but you have to bring you your bring own, your own ball. stuff. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. Would someone like to read the motion, please? Uh, oh, Don, yeah. what's up? Oh, yeah. Motion to approve the installation of new handicapped accessible playground, new asphalt paths, bocce ball courts, and a sand volleyball court at Beacon Park. Thanks, Don. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, what do we got now? Okay. I guess this is uh, this you, uh, Don Woods? Yeah, there's really nothing to report. Uh, the project's at a standstill. We won't meet again until April. Okay. The, only thing, the only thing that I'm aware of that's different from the last time, I guess there's still some issues with the finishing of the uh, the PD part, the, the part that was left from the old uh, the old town hall. 
Uh, he didn't say exactly what's going on, but there's something going on with that. I don't know if Bill knows anymore, but outside of that, there's nothing to report. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Well, you I don't have know. anything to report? Not, not in regards to police department, but it, I think the last I heard, unofficial, I think Keith Chapman approved the partition door. So we're we requested the key to operate it, so we can start our programs. Um, it's exciting as heck. Our our staff got together and we cut the cheerleading mats down to size so it fits the requirements of the st the storage up in the ceiling. And let's see, we we organized the storage room and installed all kinds of shelving units. So we're we're excited about what's going on. It's uh, it's starting to look pretty darn good. How'd you, how'd you make out with the contractor for the gym? Um. I believe our town attorney went to New Britain today to file a lawsuit. Oh. <laughs> so, I think I think by tomorrow we'll get his attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions on the town hall? If not, let's go to the spring program commencement update. Okay. Um, we met with the town manager and some of the social service the uh, directors that are in charge of buildings like libraries and senior center and that had a lengthy meeting with Charles Brown. Um, the good news is I think we're going to, as soon as the red goes to orange and we're at 16, I think 15 is uh, the breaking point. So we're anticipating in the next day or days or weeks, we will have um, the uh, ability to open up. I want to, let you know that Kelly just informed me today that in the last less than 10 days of spring programs, we collected online over $41,000 of program fees. So that's an indication that people want to get outside and do their, you know, they want to have programs. They want to have aerobics and yoga and Tai Chi and everything else. So <clears throat> things are, are looking up and the, the lights at the end of the tunnel is closer and closer now. That's good. Any any questions, uh, Bill? <laughs> okay, let's move on to the budget update. This ought to good be a good one. Yeah, you know, um, Keith has really um, put together a strong budget and uh, is presenting it. I think the half of it was done last week, and I believe our half is on this Saturday. If you want to watch it on TV, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm. I'm scheduled for a men's Holy family monastery retreat the same time they're having their budget meeting. So I won't be able to attend the budget meeting, but um, I, Janet presents it on behalf of Keith and Keith answers questions. Um, it appears that, you know, it's going fairly, uh, fairly smoothly in my opinion. It's only my opinion, but it looks like um, it's going, going well. Are you satisfied, Bill? Well, we're paying for everything ourselves. Yeah, we're, we're paying for everything ourselves pretty much. Yeah. So uh, the recreation side of things, if we raise $300,000, we're good. Um, if on the park side of things, uh, Keith has been very supportive. He's, he's big on infrastructure and, um, you know, the, getting maintenance done, you know, getting the maintenance done. So, yeah, I'd say things are, are pretty good. But as, as far as you're concerned, on your side, where you got to – you know, come up with the bucks. We got a couple of things coming that we hope will go through, correct? Like the extravaganza and whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, more, yeah. Um, you, you know, if we can get that first weekend in June, uh, motorcycle madness, yeah. the fat, fat, uh, fat uh, what are they called? Uh, food food truck. truck Fridays. And, um, and then the, the St. Patrick's Day party in the park. Those could be, if the weather's good and everything goes well, we could raise quite a bit of money there. That would certainly help us uh, get through June 30th, right? That's the, the game plan. Yeah. And then if, if pools, pools seem to be opening up, you know, the governor yesterday opened up quite a bit effective Friday. Um, if we can sell some pool passes in June and we can take summer camps, you know, summer camp is a $350,000, $400,000 program. Um, you start taking money in in June because camp starts early this year. Uh, I'm, 
I'm optimistic. You know, we're not going to we're not going to light the world on fire, but we're not going to go down in flames either. Well, I, just, I you know I just hope we follow suit like the rest of these states are starting to open up. You know, yep. otherwise you, you you get killed. You know. Yep. Yep. No doubt. Yep. Okay, let's. If there's no one has any questions on the budget update, uh, let's talk about the Water Lantern uh, Festival update. There yeah, again, this is another thing, right? Everything's right. in the air right now, right? Yeah, that was a. I think off the top of my head, we might have made about fifteen thousand dollars on that event. Yeah. So um, we're we're tentatively planning it for September twenty fifth. He laid off eleven of his his coordinators. So I talked with the boss and the owner, and he said. You know, as soon as COVID rises, he's out in like um, Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. So as um, soon as COVID is raised or lifted there, he's going to hire his people back. And he, he would love to come back to Newington and we would love to have him. Any questions by any members? If not, let's move on to E, touch a truck update. Yeah, this has been a program that, we didn't do last year because of COVID and I'm strongly recommending we don't do it this year. Okay. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense to be touching anything and having kids all over the place. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So we're, I'm strongly recommending for health reasons not to do it. Okay. Let's go on to Eflin. Let's talk about the extravaganza. Here we go again. Yeah. Um, we're no closer. We, we have, let's put it this way. We have the life being an extravaganza COVID style set up. We have a concert Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we also, I don't know if I should tell you guys this, but I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. We found a company that does uh, foam shoots two, two to three feet of foam from the ground up and you can dance in it and play in it and do all kinds of stuff. So we're anticipating that. <laughs> Uh, we're going to turn it green for the St. Patrick's Day party in the park. And then we're going to use it on Wednesday night of the of the extravaganza. And that'll be fun. We'll have some train rides. We'll do some small things in the park. Now, if the, the governor just said by April 5th, every single person that's 16 or older can have a sh shots, maybe. I mean, there's an outside shot that we could have extravaganza. So if we don't have the carnival, we won't have fireworks. And But if if the health director and the town manager allows us to have a lot of people, we'll do it. But I'm not optimistic on that part of it. I am still, I'm optimistic that we can have concerts, socially distance, uh, clean everything down, all the picnic tables, wear masks, and serve food in a, in a clean way. But I, I'm, I'm skeptical of the, at this time, of the the carnival and the fireworks. Okay, let's go on to G, Tom Beautification Program. Okay, uh, probably some of you have seen the blue flags that say welcome to Newington in the, in the Newington colors. Um, it has a waterfall on it. We put up a hundred and by Friday, we're picking up another 50 poles. We were, um, the we got some new polls coming. So we'll have about 160 flags up all downtown. And we tied in Garfield Street to the um, downtown center. It'll go to Yanni's and it'll go out to Robbins Avenue down Main Street. So um, people really seem to have been very positive about it. They love them. Uh, it's exciting. And it, that's new news for us. We also wanted everyone to know that we I told you we built a, a, a greenhouse at the garage. We're pushing daffodils right now and some um, different kinds of uh, flowers. I'm going to try a, an experiment. 20 years ago, I used to build uh, red, white, and blue American flags that were like eight feet by 12 feet, and they're made out of flowers. We're going to try one on when you come out of the senior center driveway and you're looking at the closed Mazzicoli way we're going to build a berm so that it's two or three feet in the air and then we'll have the red white and blue in a in a form of a flag and then on the other side we'll do plantings and it'll be if it comes out right with our fingers crossed and everything else um it's a 
it's a very attractive thing. We get 30,000 cars a day on Cedar Street and a whole bunch of people from the senior center and the library and the town hall. Um, we're trying to beautify the town, but Keith has given me the direction to make the, the government center, the, the new town hall, pristine. So we also, if things go well with Don Woods' committee there and Joe Harpy, and they approve irrigation, we'll make the grass and the turf pretty nice also. And we're also going to put, we bought um, planters. They're three feet wide, but they have 18 inches of water in them with wicks. So you don't have to water them every day. You have to water them once a week, twice a week, depending on the weather. But we're going to put flowers all over town hall also. And lastly, remember that the 150th group, we, we planted 5,000 daffodils all over town in houses. Four or 500 families took them. We put them in all the parks and all the government buildings. So keep an eye out for daffodils uh, in the next week or two. Okay, any questions for Bill on the uh, beautification program? Uh, just one, Bill, don't get your hopes set on that irrigation system. No? <laughs> no, we're, we're already over budget. I don't, I, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> With, without water, you die, Don, right? I know. But I, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe, Bill, I guess you could have to buy a hose. Well, maybe maybe Keith will come up with it in a different plan. Okay. Next is the uh, children's train update. Yep. We uh, got we're the pictures for, we got. Yeah, you got some pictures. It's built. Yep. And they're just waiting for one more custom cover for it. And they'll ship it next week, hopefully. So, um we're thinking of bringing it out to the soccer tournament that, where we get 110 towns from all over New England at the high school. And I thought we'd have its debut out there and bring people and parents from the North soccer fields all the way up down the path behind the high school and up to the football field. So that might be a fun run for the train at the, in the beginning. Okay, sounds good. That's a great idea, Bill. Thank you, Jen. Okay, the next one is a miniature golf update. Oh, yep, we get to the train. Yep, we re we received the uh, shipment of the of the miniature golf, but Clay, when he opened up the the truck, the 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 green astroturf was all cut up and ripped. So he did he did he only accepted half of the load, and they promised us that within two weeks we should get a new load a new turf. <coughs> okay. Okay, spring registration status. Yeah, I, I told you already, I, I jumped the gun, there over $41,000 of spring programs. We missed I think a, a miniature golf update. I, ju I just gave that. We didn't oh, okay. collect. Yeah, the green grass was cut. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, what was I saying? The, oh, this, the programs. Yes, we have a couple hundred programs already planned with instructors. I want to note to everybody, if you know anyone that wants free exercise equip, uh, free exercise classes at Clem Lemire, um, remember we've gotten a $15,000 grant from AARP and FitLot. So our programs, we start drop-in programs. We start two days a week lifting programs, and then we do Saturday morning programs. So we're really excited about those, and they're all free to everybody as long as they sign up. Okay. Next is uh, Badger Field renovation. Yep, the, um, just want to keep everyone in the loop that we have uh, renovations planned for new irrigation and a new uh, Duro 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 uh, Dura Edge. Thank you, Dura Edge um, infield material. So you're going to see a new Badger Field that will look pretty darn sharp. Okay, that sounds good. Any questions on that? Next is the Newington High School foot uh, softball field training and spring preparation. Yeah, hopefully if the weather's good, Monday, I have a friend that runs championship turf. And they're going to come in and bring some, they have some new equipment that has a laser grader on a kind of like a skid steer. And 
four or five of our newer employees are going to work with championship turf and they're going to actually train them to show them how they do a field at what, at what pace and at what, um, what equipment they use. They're going to be able to experiment with their equipment and we're going to work alongside them. So a lot of times the union says they never get any training. This is an unbelievable opportunity for <coughs> our guys to see what it's like to have a company, a professional company that works on division one, um, college universities uh, to fields to see what they they're like here in Newington. So I believe Newington high school, I haven't even told them yet, but I'm sure Chris Myers and Newington high school girls softball is going to be happy. And then I, I know the women's softball program will love it. Okay. Next is uh, John Patterson softball adult football field. Yep. Just so you know, um, we're planning on expanding little league, uh, the guy's name is Jim Trommer, the president. He he was requesting if we could give him a couple more fields for practice. So we're going to open up Patterson softball. We're going to fix that up to some degree, not perfect, but playable. And in the outfield, we're going to have our guys paint a half a football field or whatever we can fit. And we'll have the Connecticut Brawlers and the Newington Bulls uh, practice out in the outfield one night a week and and then little league will use the field the other nights and weekends and that should really alleviate some problems they also want us to redo anna reynolds field so we're going to get that in decent practice shape and lastly our guys are working on the roof at the dugouts at um john wallace baseball field so and we're putting in I've got new New Britain fence companies putting in four new gates at the Clem Lemire Legends Field and Volunteer Field to keep people out of the dugouts as best we can at night. I, I have a question, uh, Bill. Do we ever come up with a rules and regulations for Little League and the rest of the, rest of the uh, programs in town? I, I used to go after uh, Bob Stanley constantly. I never got it. What responsibilities are of Little League, midget football, and all the rest of the, because uh, I noticed lately that you've been purchasing stuff for Little League that we always did ourselves. Like the dugouts, at, at, for instance, at Wallace, we always painted them. We always did the re-roofs and all that stuff. I mean, is there a policy change or uh, no, just don't I, have it written, written yeah, down? Yeah, I don't think we have a policy, not, not that I'm aware of. But what I've been doing is trying to use communication because I don't know what happened 30 years ago. Um, all I know is what happened the last six Um I can tell you, Jim Trommer, we're doing the, you know, we made an agreement. We're doing the labor. He's going to pay for the material. Um, when it came okay. to the batting cages, he's, there's two batting cages. We're going to buy one. He's going to buy one for 800 and 800. So <clears throat> he had a bad year this year because of COVID and they didn't have as much fundraising and, and concession stand as they would have liked. So I guess we have to move with the times and be fluent. Uh, I could I could dig my feet in and say you guys have to do this, but if they don't do it, then it looks crappy for the the park system too, you know. So I'm trying to I'm trying to work with each president and be cooperative. Soccer they came up with a whole bunch of donations to to uh, get Emmanuel helped out a little bit. Um, you know, people do what they can. Remember, everyone chipped in for the for the sound system at Clem Lemire. Um, so I don't know if it's the right or the wrong thing, but I think it's, we have some type of peace right now and we have a pretty good understanding of, with each other. Um, that's the best I can tell you. Well, you know, you know, maybe sometime we ought to write something down and put something down on paper just so that, you know, whoever, cause those things, those people change all the time. Yes. You know, yep. and yep. they come in with different attitudes and, and, and I, I think Park and Rec always got along with Little League and midget football and the rest of the people, you know. Yeah, yep. Hey, Jay, can I just say one thing? Um, yeah. 
something to keep in mind too, um, like 15 years ago, even, or even far back as five years ago, um, the leagues were the only users of these fields. Yeah. Um, so it's like a shared mutual thing where um, other, other towns, other uh, people are using the fields, other um, groups, it's rented out. Um, and that's kind of what we're, the theory was behind the cage nets at uh, Legends this past purchase. We all, Babe Ruth, American Legion, Little League, and the town split it four ways. Okay, fine. No problem. So. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, Billy. Um, it does seem like we're getting more usage by a lot of different people. That's true. That's a true statement. And we're, we're sharing a little too. So it's, it lessens the burden on everybody. And it seems to make other projects go a little easier too. Yeah. Yep. Good point. What an award winner you are. Yeah. That's Don. That's Don right there. <laughs> Two well, we, already, we already discussed Anna Reynolds, right? Little League yes. Field? Yes, yep. yes. And uh, that's it, right? Any pub public participation? If none, I'd like to make a, have a motion to adjourn the, adjourn the meeting unless you, any of you committee members have some uh, gripes or Something you want to talk about? I have quite to add. He looks like he's really tan. <laughs> <laughs> he's asleep. <laughs> he's under a chippy. <laughs> uh, fun time at <laughs> my high, right? Hey, I would like to uh, just congratulate Don on his. Uh, I don't know if we did that before. I can't remember at the last meeting, but I he. I don't think so. Don. Volunteer of the Year for Newington and uh, well deserved yep. and uh, very admirable guy and appreciate all your hard work, Don. Thanks, Billy. I was uh, very honored and humbled by receiving that honor. I didn't expect it, but it was certainly something I will treasure and uh, I'm grateful forever for receiving it. I second that motion. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Don. <laughs> Thanks. Congrats, Don. You've been here so long, you got white right hair. <laughs> yeah, they ran out of people to give it to, so I was next. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Have a good day, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Good night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.